Benifer's fun-filled family weekend continued to ramp up as the pair were spotted taking their kids to the Magic Castle in Hollywood on Saturday. One day after the pair were seen bringing their children to a production of Hamilton at the Pantages Theatre, the duo were back at it again with another excursion. Clinging on to her man, Jennifer Lopez was seen tightly grasping Ben Affleck's hand as they strolled into the famed establishment ahead of all five of their children. Ben, Jennifer, and their children were also joined by Affleck's mother Christopher. The smiling duo were seen arriving in a Flex Range Rover as they continued to spend the weekend in each other's company. And though the high-profile couple has been known to often arrive separately in a fleet of SUVs, they were seen pulling up together. As they continue to be utterly enamored with each other after rekindling their romance mere months ago, they appeared to have a conversation that caused the hustler star to have a smitten look on her face. Continuing to bridge their blended families, they were spotted with the and ex Jennifer Garner's kids, Violet, 15, Serafina, 12 and Samuel, 9, as well as she and Mark Anthony's twins, Max and M, 13. Rolling up in style the Hustler star was seen in a tailored powder blue dress with lace cutouts on the bottom and a pair of matching blue heels. She carried a stylish white bag and left her caramel locks down while suited up in a patterned face mask. Jennifer also rocked several pieces of gold jewelry, including a few pendant necklaces and a shiny bracelet. And Ben looked smart for the outing as he donned a navy suit with a light-collared shirt underneath and a pair of dressier brown boots. He continued to show his affection for his former fiancée as he grasped her hands back as they made their entrance into the exclusive clubhouse which is invite only or for members. All five children followed swiftly behind them, with each of them sporting their signature, and diverse, styles for their family day out. It comes just one day after Ben, Jen, and the gang swung by the Pantages Theatre in Hollywood to see the beloved Lin-Manuel Miranda-created musical Hamilton. As as the pair continue to seriously work towards a life together, they've been spotted house hunting in Los Angeles together, despite previous reports Jennifer was looking for a place of her own. Last week they were seen viewing a Toluca Lake property which belonged to Bob Hope before they checked out an $85 million mansion, complete with 12 bedrooms, plenty of room for their combined five children. Jennifer, who has been based in Florida, has reportedly enrolled her daughter Em in the same school attended by Ben's daughter Serafina in the Los Angeles area, further committing to life on the West Coast. It was said in June that her kids were on board with starting fresh in Los Angeles, just months after she and ex-fiancé of two years Alex Rodriguez called it quits, per people. Benifer celebrated both their birthdays together, despite being wildly different in scale. The pair were seen sailing on a super yacht in Europe to ring in her 52nd birthday in mid-July where he gifted her with a few custom necklaces, one of which was said to be a symbol of their wild, abundant, and untamed love for each other. And as Ben rang in his 49th birthday on August 15 with a low-key celebration she found a way to make it special. Jennifer had a cake for him. Ben is not one for big celebrations, so he thought it was perfect, a source told People. It was exactly what he wanted. And as she continues to only have eyes for her former fiancé, who she had previously been engaged to for two years until they split in 2004, she has officially wiped a rod off her social media and unfollowed him. Despite there being some past chatter about his heartbreak it seems he has finally come to terms with the partnership being over as he told E.T. in an interview this week that Hess now in a great place. 
I had five years of an incredible life and partnership and also with my daughters, we learned so much. And now we have the opportunity to take that and move forward and say, you know what? We're so grateful for the last five years, how do we make the next five years better because of lessons learned? He told the outlet.